Hey everybody, so here's part two of the MakerBot build. Everything here laid out is far less menacing than it was when I initially took it out. All the bags are clearly labeled with what they are and the parts that they've got. Uh, there is a particular order to the construction that must be followed. Step one, step whatever. So everything contained in these two boxes here, the automated build platform, and the uh, Mark V Plastruder, those can be built independent of the overall process. Otherwise, i got to start with step one, which I think is the Y-axis of the overall uh, kit. Uh, at Crash Space tomorrow in Culver City, there is a MakerBot build going on. So I'm going to show up with a few parts here and enlist the aid of one of their guys who has built a few of these and uh, it's a group build tomorrow so there could be other people there too so he is working on either the build platform or the relay board so I may do one of those or start construction on the bot itself we'll see but as I said everything here is a lot more understandable now make sure we're getting some focus going on so basic cable kits belts bearings pulleys the third generation electronics kit I think they're about coming out with a fourth generation now unfortunately the drive rod kit the build platform hasn't changed they may uh, be using some new stepper motors in the future if not sooner than later but uh, yeah everything's pretty much all here and tools that I'll need are also at crash space and I probably have enough here to do the parts as well so uh, I'm going to do a lot of this on my own but just to kick it off I'll definitely get the help of uh, someone who knows what they're doing for this kind of money I definitely need, don't want to uh, screw up too much or at least too badly so uh, definitely uh, look for some more of this and uh, here we go hey everybody so the first box we're going to look at for the MakerBot is uh, the laser cut parts. I've already gone through this. Uh, essentially I left everything as it is. Got a build platform with a razor and a little bit of something else in there. Let's make sure we're in focus. This is a new camera so I'm still kind of getting used to it. Acrylic sheet, probably the only one. This is where the extruder gets attached to, I am pretty certain. Then, uh, batch number 16, 2152. This must all be, uh, just pine board. Feels cheap, but it's pretty solid overall. So a few pieces are done on frets like this, so I'm going to leave those as attached as possible. Like, this piece is, uh... Definitely a solid piece of wood, so that's good. It's all pretty uh, mach well machined, well, well lasered, actually. And everything's just got that nice crisp little burn right around the edges. So staining this, I think, is going to give a really nice look. So here's two nice pieces, the back of the machine, apparently, and uh, a couple internal parts done as a single fret and a piece. I don't think there's any wasted wood in this project at all, maybe. Definitely a good amount of slices here. Ah, uh, too bad. So I didn't necessarily want to knock any loose, but that's okay. Sides, and then here's the front. So I'm not really into logos, so I'm probably going to build this side out so I've got a nice fresh palette to uh, draw on. So like I said, I'm going to do the stain first. I'm going to do that this weekend or next. And uh, from there, we'll start building as well. My timeline for this is to have it done by either the end of October 2010 or the end or before Thanksgiving. So we'll see how that goes. That's pretty much it. I didn't count the parts there, but there must be a good dozen or so or uh, slices rather than just simply parts because there's even more of those so 
Good set of components right out of the box, definitely for this one. So we'll take a look at each of the boxes as I go along. And uh, I'll be enlisting the aid of Crash Space in Los Angeles, a bunch of hackers to uh, help me uh, cobble this together. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you.